My friends, let's break down what some of our roller coaster weather events really mean. And we have just the right person to explain it. It is my pleasure to have Dr. John Allen, Central Michigan University professor, joining me. Thank you for being here. How are you, Dr. Allen? Uh, well, though I can't say the last 24 hours has yes. been quite what we all expected for the end of February. Yes, definitely. <laughs> right up your alley. Now, you teach classes like severe and unusual weather like we've been having. So I know we have the perfect expert to break it all down for us. So let's start with this, Dr. Allen. We're having some really unseasonably warmer weather this winter in the 60s and 70s yesterday. So are climate trends showing warmer conditions arriving earlier? Is that the trend? Uh, there is certainly a trend towards that in, uh, in uh, our climate trends. And uh, at least in our uh, climate projections, we expect that sort of trend to continue. Uh, the exact nature of this season, whether we can attribute this season, is a little bit more of a sticky question because we know that there are other factors that play into the year-to-year -year variations. Um, at the moment, we have a, a pretty strong uh, El Nino Southern Oscillation, uh, so a Pacific in the, the Pacific sea surface temperatures. Uh, there's a relatively warm anomaly, and that changes the way that weather and climate happens over the United States. So we can't really distinguish between the two of those, and then there are other climate factors that play a role as well. Um, for example, the relatively low uh, ice coverage over the Great Lakes mm. and indeed over the Arctic Ocean. Now, can this out of season severe weather, all these events really be contributed to that? You're talking about the El Nino this year. Yeah, it's a little difficult to distinguish. Certainly from El Nino years, uh, there isn't really uh, a strong evidence for Michigan tornadoes. Um, okay. Actually, it is not the uh, only February tornado we've seen in, in Michigan. Uh, we've actually had five tornado events previously uh, on February 28th, so just a day later. Um, one of those occurred in 1974 and uh, five, uh, four tornadoes occurred in uh, 2017. So it, it's a little difficult to sort of attribute that to the climate and you really need to do a, a, a detailed study yeah. to sort of understand the sensitivity to that. Um, so Michigan really, we normally see our severe weather season pick up into March. That's when we start to see tornadoes. They're not every year, but March is when we start to see more frequent tornadoes. Um, so the end of February isn't too untoward from that. Uh, but it's uh, a, t a challenging question to think yeah. about how the climate system influences such a small system as this tornado. We, we just heard that it was 5.7 miles long and on the ground for 10 minutes and was the sc only at 450 yards wide. That's wow. a very small phenomena compared to the whole climate of our planet. Yes, I have to ask you this, Dr. Allen. If we continue to see early season warming, would that increase our chances of severe weather arriving early? <laughs> And that is definitely something that we expect uh, as we warm into a future climate. Now, whether that's emerging now is yeah. too difficult to distinguish. The problem is that tornadoes are really rare events locally. So we can't really say, well, uh, we got a one additional, so therefore that means something. Um, and so because they're these small scale phenomena, it, it takes longer periods for us to distinguish them from the year to year variability. You know, we don't get a tornado every year. We get 15 in Michigan on average every year. Um, uh, certainly not many in February, right? So it makes it very difficult to sort of make that distinction in the history historical values. Now, in the future climate, as we warm, uh, the energy available at this time of year would be larger. We'd see more of these sort of warm days as we saw uh, uh, saw, uh, saw yesterday. We yeah. got to 73, uh, 73 for a peak, I think, in uh, Saginaw, uh, or sorry, in Flint, rather. And uh, so that's, uh, you know, that's more like severe weather seasons. So the projection is for those uh, earlier season events to become more frequent and maybe some of the summertime stuff to become a little bit less frequent. Well, Dr. Allen, I have to say thank you so much for joining us. I know you have a busy teaching schedule. I hope you gave your students a little study break while you were doing this interview, but we do appreciate you calling in today. Thank you so much. Thank you. You are so welcome. The new